हेलो फ्रेंड्स एंड टुडे आई हैव दिस न्यू ट्रे वीडियो ट्यूटोरियल टू शेयर विथ यू ऑल येस आई हैव जस्ट क्रिएटेड दिस दिस इज हजबेंड फ्रेशली मेड इन माई क्राफ्ट रूम एंड आई एम सो 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 एक्साइटेड कैन यू रियली सी द ब्यूटिफुल ब्यूटिफुल डिकुपाज वर्क वट हैव डन एंड यू रियली वॉन्ट टू लर्न दिस देन लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड Welcome back, friends. This is Sonia here from Growing Craft, and yes, today we are going to create another tree. I have uh, been working on few of the trees uh, very recently, and few more have to come. So yes, today, 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 I have decided to work on this tree. Now I was asked to make uh, something in a uh, brown or grayish color, so I have decided to. use my brown and white shades so i'm working with some lighter shades of uh, uh brown so i will be just mixing up these two shades and then i will be coloring up this tray completely so yes again here i have not uh, prepped up my base cause the base was really 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 smooth so i really don't think that i need to add anything to this and i have been working on the series where i don't use my white color yes i do not use my white color shade to uh before doing my decoupage napkin and i have been liking those results too so of course if you want to highlight your uh, napkins then you need to you will have to uh use white colors but if you are absolutely okay with having the nice shaded version of that then you can you can definitely definitely uh use these darker shades or any other shade which even the lighter shades and then you can do the decoupage work now if required like if your base is not as uh, soft as mine and if you wish to work uh, purely with the lighter uh, version of the napkins like you want them to pop out really really well then for that uh, i would highly suggest you to have a nice um, gesso on your base yes you can have a uh, gesso on your complete base you can have white gesso and uh, then you can start working on that now very 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 quickly i'm trying to do this so that my color does not dry up here and with the same mix of paint i'm trying to completely cover my tray i'm trying to cover it as much as i can and on the sides i'm using the same shade so in this one i will be not doing the tip cause i have planned something else for that now this is looking really nice i am actually liking this color this is like a uh, an ochre uh, yellow color which looks really really good so i'm done now i'll just remove all the extra paints and i'll try to paint it on this side i just need to make sure that i uh, remove all the excessive paints because if it dries out then it is going to look like a patchwork and we don't want that at all so if you have any extra paint then uh, you don't need to uh keep it for longer time some more brown some oops some more white let me see if i have added no i think this is good i think i need to add some more tinge of 
brown here mix your color and a bit of more of brown I'm just trying to mix it really really well you can use your color palette but I was comfortable with this one so that's the reason I am having this shade and yes this has come to the exact almost similar shade here let me just blend my color really really well and now this is looking really good now here I have added uh, some extra color the reason is that I wanted to have two coats of my paint so this will actually help me in having a good two coat of paints on my complete base À deux doigts de nos lettres, deux doigts si fins que j'ai presque pu le goûter, le bonheur à sculpter de son ciseau d'orfèvre, des souvenirs impossibles à effacer. Le bonheur est passé. À deux doigts de nos lettres, deux doigts si fins que j'ai presque pu le goûter, le bonheur à sculpter de son ciseau d'orfèvre, des souvenirs impossibles à effacer. completely done with the drying process and now I need to do the decoupage work and here what I have is a beautiful beautiful decoupage napkin now you have always 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 seen me uh, doing decoupage in patches but in this one I have planned to use this complete napkin yes you heard me really right I am planning to use this complete napkin on this tissue box so let's see oh sorry not the tissue box the tray i'm so i'm actually concentrating too much on uh, removing the pliers of my napkin so that i do not tear off my tissue and i could do it really well okay okay so here it is but now i really don't know that how i should take this up okay maybe maybe what i should do is let me cut these papers from the sides and then see how it works out for me i really don't know this is actually a complete uh, trial thing i have never ever done anything like this and this is a really big experiment for me I'm just trimming off the edges so that I can completely sink in my uh, decoupage napkin so uh, yes creating decoupage tray is a, is a really time consuming thing it takes too much of time and I have been asked and many times I've been told oh decoupage that's such an easy thing you just paint the base stick your paper and it's done no it's trust me it's not that easy uh, even though we do it we say it's simple it is not that simple like of course when you are very very much used to your uh, plates and base and everything then it's really quick but yes it definitely takes time to be there to reach to that level and still even if you are at one level it is not going to be that easy for you for sure now with this napkin yeah with this one i'm just going to wipe out my brush 
because I just feel that maybe I'll need um, two three extra brushes to flatten the nap to stick my napkin so I'm just trying to be a little more prepared uh, one thing I've realized is that if you are taking out the complete tissue even the small patches the leftover pieces is something which you can always save and use for your crafting don't don't throw this away this is really going to help you in saving your napkins and uh, you can use these for cleaning and everything okay so here i am done and i'm back with my matte finish mod podge and now i need to apply this on my base so what i am going to do is i'm going to first stick my napkin on the base the down base so yeah here it is just brushing off my decoupage glue and i don't want to put too much of thin layer of glue because i will need time while sticking this because it's a big base this tray is around eight inches by eight inches and i need to make sure that i stick it really really well here okay okay now the tricky part st starts this is flying so much okay now what i'm going to do it uh, is i'm going to start with one corner so i'm taking my another brush i take this one and i will start sticking this napkin from one corner i really 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 don't know that how is it going to work out i'm really in a panic mode now but i'm happy that i have applied my mod podge completely so i'm just brushing this napkin on my base and yes it is turning out to be really really good and press it off really well because like i always say that this is the most and the core important part of your uh, decoupage work press your napkin really really well okay i could do this in just a couple of minutes okay so can you really see that this has sticked so well and this the brush what i'm using is a complete dry flat brush and with this i'm brushing off so that all the extra wrinkles and everything will come out very very well yeah so it's done now i need to stick my side papers so for this i will be quickly very very quickly i'll be applying my mod podge and with the same mm -hmm. brush i'm giving it a quick quick sticking brush up and done this is done i'll show you this way now with the flat brush i will stick it here done now the side is also done i will be nice now sticking this part so uh like uh you can use your uh, glossy finish mod podge but here particular in this one um you cannot see the mod podge you cannot see the finish so either you use your matte finish mod podge or you use your uh, 
glossy finish it is not going to make any major uh, difference so that's the reason i would suggest that if you have any particular mod podge you can use that very easily okay so here i am done now i need to stick the other two sides too another brush just i'm dabbing the corners the edges to make sure that it sticks really really well now the last portion So it's done. This is looking really, really, really great. But now I need to uh, wait for it to dry up completely so that I can remove the extra napkin. But meanwhile, I'll just do a quick uh, dry with my heat gun and then with my sponge dauber, I'm going to give it a really good press from all the sides. So now this has dried out completely and now it's time to remove the extra uh, papers and for that I'm using my filer and very smoothly and very quickly I'll be removing all the extra papers.
est passé à deux doigts de nos lèvres, deux doigts si fins que j'ai presque pu le goûter, le bonheur à sculpter de son ciseau d'enfer et souvenir. Okay, now to cover up the spaces uh, wherever you can see the uh, base on the sides, I have decided that uh, I will be doing the stamping work uh, to cover them up. So now I just need to make sure that I have a uh, good, okay, I did it on the wrong side. So I'll just keep my tree like this and then I am going to stamp it. So can you see this looks full now i'm going to repeat the same thing on all the sides wherever i can see the base so done it's actually on the three sides that i could see the base and yeah this is working out now this corner is uh, really really small so I am going to stick my decoupage napkin on that side so I'll just cut a small piece and then I am going to have my mod podge so I've taken a small brush because it's a very 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 tiny area which is actually not very much visible but i just want to cover it i don't want to leave it as it is and now i will be covering that up so yeah and this is this is good now now on these edges this is fine here maybe i can have one more smaller piece so i'll just cut off the paper so this is something which you can do from the leftover pieces uh, as you saw that i had trimmed down the extra paper and with that only i'm just sticking it on the edges and this design is so pretty and it is such a floral pattern that it will not even it will be not even visible that you have sticked something else there but you just need to make sure that it you stick it really really well okay so this is done and this is looking really 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 good now now i will just let this napkin dry out completely and i will be removing the extra papers now so i'm just brushing it up with my Filer and you can see that how easily and how simply all the papers are coming out
so my trimming work is also done this looks absolutely clean and so neat now and yes i have to paint the sides the border of this uh, tree and i'm just trying to see okay i think this brush will work great so i have decided to use this dark brown on the top edges i need to sit down and do this cause this is going to take time and with my paint brush very nicely and very softly i will just brush up the darker paint on the edges now here is a quick tip that whenever you are doing the border uh, coloring work many a times just a tinge of color uh, goes down to the side areas where you really don't want your colors so take it on the opposite direction you will so see all those extra colors on your hands or the fingers and that makes your work so neat À deux doigts de nos lettres, doigts si fins que j'ai presque pu le goûter, le bonheur à sculpter de son ciseau de fer, un souvenir impossible à effacer. Le bonheur est passé. À deux doigts de nos lettres, doigts si fins que j'ai presque pu le goûter, le bonheur à sculpter de son ciseau de fer, un souvenir impossible à effacer. Okay, so now my borders are done, and on the sides I could see some color, and I actually felt that uh, maybe, maybe I can, I should have darker color on the sides. So now I will be having the darker shade of brown. So I have actually uh, dropped down my uh, thin brush, thin flat brush, and I have taken a broader brush so that I can do my complete dark color in. one go and this will make my work easier and faster too this is really 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 fun and i love uh, coloring i love uh, adding textures and shades and honestly in this one i really really wanted to play with the uh, stencils but then uh, the napkin is already so beautiful that uh, i really don't need to work with the darker shades uh, or with any other uh, stencils or anything the napkin is already so 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 beautiful
going to do some stamping uh, yes on the borders I am thinking of doing uh, some stamping work so that uh, the outside portion does not look empty and I am going to do this in patches of course and this is really simple but this makes the uh, empty spaces look much more fuller and yes uh, without any doubt if you are doing this uh, stamping technique you need to make sure that you use your uh, permanent ink pads and then only you start uh, doing this and permanent inks are nothing but they are going to just make sure that uh, if you are using your varnish or you are using any other mediums uh, nothing comes out of that at all so yeah here I am done with my stamping and I will be repeating the stampings on the top areas this is just to make them look filler and I am really happy with the shade uh, with the color and the I really liked it and now what I am left with is only the varnish uh, yes we need to do varnish here and I'll just give it a quick hit gun dry so that my uh, ink also does not spread at all some more stamping here and there just a tinge of stamp Now the final coat of uh, my sealer and for the sealer I am using my wood varnish. It's on uh, Asian paint water based wood varnish, wood finish varnish and I will be applying this on my uh, complete base. Now here is something which I really 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 want to show you all. Let me just finish this and I will show you. So as you remember that I had done um, an ochre yellow color on my base and till now my napkin was looking so whitish and I'll just show you with the half that on half of the uh, tray I have applied my varnish and can you really see the color difference. So this is something which happens when you add your varnish to it. It really sticks your paper very well to your base and it actually uh, is absorbed by the paper so well that uh, you can see the real color of your base and that's the reason if you want a nice uh, popping color of your uh, background you should use white but here i wanted to have some nice natural uh, blending color that's the reason i used ochre yellow shade now i will completely uh, finish my tray with my varnish and I'm so glad that I'm able to show you all these uh, simple, simple ticks and tricks, which is really, really helpful. Now, uh, if you're a beginner and if you would have done the, this step, you must have thought, oh, you can see the white colors. But actually, when you use your varnish, after that, you do not see the actual color of the base at all. So you just need to be a little patient make sure you do all the steps really well
Apply a generous amount of varnish. If you want, you can add uh, glitter to it. That is going to add some extra charm to your uh, project. And if you uh, want, you can just have your plain varnish and that will work wonderfully too. So in this one, of course, as it's in serving tray, you will be using this very roughly. So and with the kitchen stuff like all the edibles and cup and the bowls and everything. So you need to make sure that you apply good two, three coats of varnish to this. So here I am uh, applying one coat of varnish. This I'm doing in camera, on camera. And uh, but once it uh, dries out, then I'm going to have good two, three coats of uh, varnish off camera too. And that is one of the very, very, very important step. You need to make sure that you apply a good two, three coats of varnish to whatever the projects you are doing. Be it your decoupage project or your mixed media project. But it should have good two, three coats of varnish so that it can, it can last really long. So with this my project is done and this is looking absolutely absolutely gorgeous i'm totally in love with this one and i loved the fact that i have not used a white color and i blended it with some nice shades of brown and chrome yellow and this is looking really 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 beautiful and i really really hope you all enjoyed this tutorial of course i'm listing down all the supplies down in the description box do check that and if you have any queries please do comment below i'll be more than happy to help you all and do not forget to have good two three coats of varnish once your uh, tray dries out like i'm going to do off camera tomorrow and day after tomorrow too so thank you once again and do not forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon and hit the like button and share it as much as you can Take care. Bye-bye.